Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your Windows 11 or Windows 10 is stuck on please wait screen or if it is not going beyond the login screen. Now, there are a couple of steps you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step is to go ahead and force automatic startup repair. To do this, the first thing what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and disconnect all external drives and peripherals on your computer, which includes your external mouse, external keyboard, or if you have an ex a webcam connected to your computer. Once that is done, you will have to go ahead and perform a forced shutdown by holding down the power button and then restart your computer. You will have to repeat this process three times. On the third restart, your computer will enter the automatic startup repair mode. Once you're on the startup repair, you will have to click on advanced option and then click on troubleshoot and then on the advanced option again and that will take you to the advanced option. Click on startup repair. Once you click on startup repair, this will go ahead and restart your computer once the startup repair is complete. On the restart, you will have to go ahead and press F4 key, which is a function 4 key on your keyboard. Once you keep on pressing the function 4 key on your keyboard, this will take you to the safe mode. Now, once you are on the safe mode, your computer would have a larger resolution and it would display safe mode on the four corners of the screen. Now, once you're on the safe mode, you will have to go ahead and disable some of the problematic services. Now the first to do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you will have to go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. Once you're on the services window, you will have to go ahead and locate for Windows error reporting service. It would be in alphabetical order. You will have to do a right click and then click on properties. Make sure the startup type has been set to disable and then click on apply and also make sure it has been stopped. Once this has been disabled, the next set of service what you will have to locate for is network list service. So you will have to do a right click and then click on properties. You will have to click on the drop down and make sure it has been set to disabled. Click on apply and then click on OK. The other service what you will have to go ahead and disable is network location awareness. So you will have to locate for network location awareness. It would be in alphabetical order. You will have to do a right click and then click on properties. Set the startup type to disable. Then click on apply and then click on OK. Once this is done, close this window. Once you close this window, what you could also do is add as an additional step. You can also run the system file checker and DISM tool on your computer. In the same screen, go to the search and in the search window, you can go ahead and type CMD. You can do a right click and then click on run as administrator for the command prompt. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. So once you're on the command prompt window, you will have to go ahead and run the command SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter. Wait until the command is being executed. Once the SFC scan is complete, what you can also do is you can run another command to go ahead and repair the Windows imaging files. You will have to go ahead and open the command prompt again. So you can go to the search window and type CMD. You will see the best match for command prompt. Do a right click and then click on run as administrator. When prompted for the user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. So once you're on the command prompt, you will have to uh, enter the command for DISM. So once you have this command, you will have to go ahead and hit enter. Once the command has been successfully executed, you can close the window, restart your computer, and uh, then check if your issue has been resolved. So this should definitely resolve the problem. So in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.